they've got a catnip snap blah, catnip sack so pancakes playing with it yeah she mad she was playing with it earlier She got it again. They basically just drew all over it. And look at it. It's weird. And then throw it. Hmm. <laughs> so she's rubbing herself down with it. Hmm. She's very busy with it. <laughs> Sugar. do a mask right now there's so many different masks to try but I'm not sure which one because I've gotten so many recently I think I'm gonna try this milk face mask so oh it's the usual so use this hot in winter Soak package in warm water for two, three minutes. Huh. Well, I'm just going to do it the regular way. But, I mean, the face, it's a milk mask which keeps soft, skin soft, supple, and glowing like a pregnant lady. Milk has lactic acid, which acts as an exfoliant that eliminates all the old, dull skin cells. The amino acids keep skin moisturized and can help prevent damage from toxins. Okay. So this is the one that I got from Steph. I had so many masks recently from between Steph and Lily that it's just an abundance of stuff, you know? Trying to get it all apart here. Ah. These never really cover my forehead properly, you know? Pretty good though, I think. Yeah. Okay, so this one looks really creepy, huh? Hmm. This is by Creme, I think is how you say it. The Creme shop or the cream shop, whatever. I've used some of theirs before. They're not, like this doesn't have like a lot of serum, um, but it's not dry either. So it's pretty good. Oh, Jack, Jack is up here watching me here. I'll show you. Pretty <laughs> cute. His little spot. So yeah. Um, 
what I even do today? I, of course, napped a lot again. Um, and I went to the dollar store. And I went to um, the, uh, oh, my brain's just falling out, Market 32. And tomorrow I'm probably going to go to Aldi's. And I got to run some other errands. But Dollar Tree have mostly got some like food stuff. They always sell like the um, Velveeta cheese sauce and Bianca likes that to make macaroni and cheese with. So I always get like several packets of that. Because that's like a snack for her. Some macaroni and cheese. She likes to put tuna and peas in it. Uh, it's not my thing, but it makes her happy and it's extra calories for her. And with cystic fibrosis, you need to eat like three times as much as a normal person would eat. So she has to have lots of calories. So that's a good way for her. Um, and I got some soups. You know, it's funny because some of the food there is like nasty. And some of the food there is good. So you really have to know how to like figure it out. But So I got some food stuff there. And I also got Christmas cards. And I got candy canes there. But I was very excited to find Christmas cards that I like. Because usually the Dollar Tree um, does not have Christmas cards that I like. And Walmart never has Christmas cards that I like. Because I like to have holiday cards and Christmas cards. Because some of my friends, are, you know, aren't Christian. And others are. So I like to have a mixture of both. So, um, and Walmart never has, like any that are like not Christian related so I like to have both so I usually can't find the ones that I would like there but I found some cute ones at the Dollar Tree I found Christmas ones that had like a little doggy with like reindeer antlers and I found um, holiday ones which was like like a white like snowy landscape or something on it um which is pretty so and I, ha I still have some old cards too um from years bef the years before um I think last year I didn't even buy new cards because I had so many old cards that I just reused them I don't really it's like a waste not to use them right you know so I always do and um then I came home hung out with my daughter um I gave my old tree away my uh I think it was like a five foot tree I think that's about no you know what it was taller than that I think it was like almost six feet somewhere between five and six feet um and I gave that away to somebody who could use it so they picked it up and um then I just like kind of like Relaxed, hung out with my cat, and ate way too much fiddle faddle that I picked up at the dollar store. I should not have done that. Because, you know, when you've eaten, like, too much, like, sugar, and it, like, sticks in your throat, that's where I'm at right now. I should probably have some tea, but I kind of want some warm apple cider. So I'm having a little trouble with that, because warm apple cider will be sweet, and I really don't need more sweet right now. So I'll probably do the tea. And I got that tea um, that Steph gave me, the apple cinnamon chamomile. I'd like to try that. So maybe I'll do that instead. And I can have the warm apple cider like tomorrow. When I haven't eaten so much garbage. I don't know why. What possessed me to get that? I got one for Bianca and I was like, oh, I want one for me. And now I'm wishing I hadn't because it's so sickening. Like, it's one of those things that I like, but I shouldn't eat like... I like it, but then if I eat too much of it, I don't like it anymore. <laughs> That's where I was at, so. Yeah. Um, I had lobster bisque for dinner, which came from the dollar store. It was a can that you mix with, like, milk. And it wasn't bad. I mean, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad for, like, a dollar store lobster bisque. I was like... I could eat this again. Like, that's good. Like, next time I go, if, it, if they still have some, I'll pick it up. So that's good. Um, 
And every Sunday I do a prosperity spell for myself and my family. And so I did that. And yeah, I'm just kind of relaxing and chilling. I'm been really blessed this holiday season with a lot of people being very kind to me and I'm very thankful for that. Um, and I'm just trying not to think about the future too much because if I start thinking about the future, I'm going to get like super anxiety and I want to just focus on this season and be happy, you know, because I need to have some happiness. Um, I mean, my house not great, uh, but you know what? I have a good doctor who does her best to take care of me and I have good people around me and you know, life isn't perfect. So nobody has like the perfect life. That's like a complete myth. But when you have like people there to support you and be there for you, that's what makes it like worth it and makes it awesome, you know? So yeah, so I'm, I'm good. I don't know what really to talk about, but I have to do my Christmas cards tomorrow. Now that I bought them, I'm going to go to um, the post office tomorrow and buy some stamps and then either tomorrow or Tuesday, I'll make them out so I can send them off. Or at least I'm not doing them super, super late. But it's kind of funny. I've gotten three Christmas cards so far. I get the one from Steph, and then I got one from Zany Laney, and I got one from Chewy. <laughs> you know, Chewy.com sent me a Christmas card because I am like, I get kitty litter from them every month. So <laughs> I'm a good customer. And I always get other things too. I get like treats for the guinea pigs or treats for the cats. I get something else besides the kitty litter. So yeah, I'm a good customer of theirs and they know it. So I got like a Christmas card. I guess probably anybody who's a regular customer of theirs gets a Christmas card, I think. So like no big deal. Um, Cause you have to like make an account with their company. So I'm sure everybody that has an account gets Christmas card. Um, I think Christmas cards are kind of like becoming a thing of the past or like holiday cards because it's kind of expensive now to like, you know, stamps used to be so much cheaper and now it's like, oh wow. One of my friends is in Canada, so I have to like send, I think I have to put like three or four stamps on the card for him. And I will certainly send one off to him. I always do. I always send him a card. Because he's a good friend of mine. Um, gosh. I don't know. Did you see that thing about um, Apothecary? I think is the name of the company. I think that's it. And how they sold like little bundles of twigs. And they were like really expensive. They were like... 30 or 40 bucks for like a bundle of twigs and they sold out of them I couldn't like rich people man <laughs> like who buys a bundle of twigs like you can buy that you can just pick them up <laughs> like off the ground you know and I, I can't say that I've never bought something I bought pine cones before but I think pine cones are different because when you buy pine cones, they're usually been like, they're like cinnamon pine cones that have been like heavily scented with cinnamon. Um, or you get the ones that are like gold or silver sprayed. I suppose, yes, you could pick up pine cones and spray them yourself, but at least they're a little more elaborate. And I don't pay like 40 bucks for them. I pay like $3 for them or whatever, you know, for like a whole pack. To pay that much money for something that you can just pick off off the ground that hasn't been like, all it was was just twigs and like I think one little thing of thread like tied them together. What on earth, right? Is that not crazy? I think it's super crazy. I do. <laughs> That's just naughty. Why do people do stuff like that? Oh, you know what? 
my battery's dying. I'm gonna have to charge this tonight. Um, so I guess this is it then because, hmm, oh, you know what, real quick, I'm gonna see what is in my advent calendar. Um, today is nine. That looks like a lippy. Ooh, that does look like a lippy. Ow. <laughs> My goodness, why do they have to make them so hard to get out? There it goes. This one looks really... It says, NYX, this is everything. Professional makeup. In the color Cranberry Mint. Look at the... It's all pretty. Oh, I think it's a gloss. It's like a bomb. That's nice. Yeah, it doesn't say... Oh, it's an oil. It's a lip oil. It's a cranberry mint lip oil. It doesn't taste minty, though. It has a nice scent to it, but it doesn't. it's not overpowering anything, so I, I like it. And I do like lip oils. So I'm gonna, from there, um, say goodbye to on this one. And, you know, happy holidays. And uh, I'll see you the next day. Bye, kitty cats.